So I want to teach you something about prayer. In five minutes, then I'll be done. Five minutes. Five minutes. When I exit, maybe it's chapter 15. So, um, prayer, there is a one dimension of prayer that we need to understand. There is one dimension of prayer that we need to understand. Prayer is not just coming in the closet. The city is good. It's good actually to come and build up your most holy faith. But that one is a lower revelation. You coming every time to build up your most holy uh, Like you coming every time to like to need to build up your inner man is a lower revelation. Every time you come in the praises of God, you know, um the desire of God. Uh, I always tell you this that the plans or rather the agendas of God they are not personalized. The agendas of God are always kingdom based. When God gives you something, when God gives you an ability, or rather, when God gives you a gift, it's always to serve humanity. It's always to serve a generation. It's always to, like, uh, it's always to give it to me. You know? Okay, now I get it. God gives us that chance so that we may dominate. So every time we come in the presence of prayer, it's not about you. It is not about you, my God. It is not about you. It's an opportunity God has given you to take dominion. It's an opportunity God has given you take dominion to ascend under that throne so when you're praying in tongues don't focus on yourself don't focus on yourself my god every time you come in the presence of um, in the presence of god and you're praying you're praying in tongues or rather you are just praying don't focus on yourself shift from yourself ascend higher ascend higher for instance listen uh, right now say i know by the grace of god i'm going to canada by the grace of God, I know I'm going to own companies. So when I'm praying, I'm not thinking about how maybe how I want to grow spiritually. Yes, by the way, I'm growing spiritually by prayer and studying the word of God. But now when I'm praying, I'm visualizing. Every time you come in the place of prayer, visualize. See the picture of it. See the picture. Like until now that picture is complete. You don't stop praying. I don't know if I'm speaking to someone. Until that picture is complete, don't stop praying. For instance, uh, when I want God to give me, uh, when I want God to give us, uh, let's say, I want God to give us a bus for, for the supernatural, for the missions. So I will start visualizing how this bus will look like. I will start visualizing how this bus will be serving us. I will start visualizing how this bus will be moving across Kenya, how this bus will be serving the kingdom of God. Until that, like, I must allow that picture to be imprinted in my mind whatever that you cannot see you can never attain if you cannot see it in a spiritual realm you can never attain it the reason why we pray is so that we can ascend into the spiritual realm prayer is a ladder i told you that prayer is a ladder we use prayer to ascend into the spiritual realm we have two realms we have two realms here on earth we have the realm of time and we have the realm of this is spiritual the spiritual realm now so prayer is a ladder you ascend from the you ascend from the realm of time into the spiritual realm. Prayer helps us to ascend into the spiritual realm. And if you cannot see it in the in the spiritual realm, you can never obtain it in the natural realm. So you may be there praying for two hours in times. But if you can if you have not seen anything in the spiritual realm, imagine you know it. So every time you come in the place of prayer, at least be able to see something. Prayer is not a monologue. Prayer is a dialogue. It's a communication. Do you know what a communication is? It's whereby I'm talking to you and you're talking back to me. And God speaks to us a lot through visions. That's so why you can be praying and you're seeing something. God is communicating to you about something. You can be uh, like you can be you can be praying and then you're listening. God is speaking to you. You stop praying and then you're writing down something. God is speaking to you. Prayer is a dialogue. It's not a monologue. You know something, maybe you're coming here, you are praying for your uh, the two hours, five hours, and then at the end you can be like, what did you hear, Ma, what did you, uh, what did the Lord reveal to you when you're praying? Nah. It's not about that. We used to pray like that so that we build our inner man. But right now is a place where Jesus Christ is coming very soon. Holy. He's coming, and he's coming for the purified church. I'll continue saying this, he is coming. And so he's coming for an, the church that has already overcome. He's coming for a victorious church. And so God has given us a tool of dominion. 
and one of the tools of the dominion is what? Prayer. 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 When the marriage, that marriage you have to see it. For it to come to pass. It will not just come at because you have been a good intercessor, a good man shall come from Nigeria and then marry you, take your child. It will not happen like that. You must see it. You want a good business, visualize it. Yes, you have prophesied about about a business. You have prophesied about maybe uh, you having a ministry. Start visualizing, start picturing it. Have pictures of them. When you are praying, see it. See yourself in China. See yourself in the streets. Just see yourself. See yourself somewhere. See yourself in that business. See yourself holding a microphone in China. Just see yourself, like, see yourself ministering to people. See yourself. You speak it as, but you're seeing yourself. Oh my goodness. Don't come out of that vision. Just see yourself. That's why it gets sweeter. Imagine you're in that vision and you're praying in dance. Do you mind coming out? So you can, if Apple Luna Pata, like you pray for even three hours, five hours, without like, you're not even struggling in prayer because you know where you are going. So every time you come in the presence of God, have something you see. Don't just come with the God. Do you know you don't go in the presence of the king in Waiwodu? You go to the president of Kenya, just go because you wanted to talk to him, just go in there, then come back. You must have an agenda, right? So every time we are coming, like you see, uh, right now we are sons, we are not children. The Bible says that for all who received, uh, for, the, for all who believed him, and then for all who received him and believed in his name, he gave them the power to be called the children of God. Right now you are not a child. The scripture says that for all, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are sons of God. Right now we are sons of God. We are sons. Are you listening to me, Agnes? We are sons of God. And because you are a son of God, my goodness, there are some territories you need to start on. Don't say maybe I will wait until I finish the when these prophecies will come to pass. No. Visualize it. See yourself in that marriage. See yourself in that baby girl when you prophesy you. See yourself holding her. See yourself in a happy home. See yourself in a mansion. See yourself owning properties. See yourself at the at the mountain of business. See yourself. At least see yourself. Don't waste prayers. Don't waste prayers. Don't waste it. My goodness. Don't waste prayers. It's not just about coming up and today I pray for five hours. No. In fact, do you know uh when you have a vision, you will not even be concerned with time. You will not be concerned with time. In fact, you will be always anticipating for the next time, at least for the next chance you will be given to pray. You will be anticipating. You will desire, oh God, Aban, can we have a session of prayer again? I want to pray. I want to see this thing again. I want to see it. Do you know the more you see it, the more, it, the more like the more real it becomes. Are you hearing? The more you see it the more real it becomes. So take time, see it. Yes, see it. See it. See it. The reason why you receive a prophetic word is not maybe because I can prophesy so I give you more. Every prophetic word you receive, my goodness, thank God. Thank God. It's just a prayer time you have Every prophetic word you receive is just a prayer item umepewa. When you come out to the place of prayer, see yourself. See, enter into that prophecy. Like enter, enter into that now prophecy. See yourself in that prophecy. Just see yourself. My goodness. Makosa bra akaga rusa kanvelisha. Hata kama ni prophesy here. By the way, next month you will be receiving fifteen thousand. See yourself with fifteen thousand. See fifteen thousand in your account. See yourself planning on how you use this fifteen thousand. Just see yourself. You are praying it out, but you are seeing it. Oh my goodness. You are, you are materializing this fifteen thousand. Like you are materializing the prophecy. Because of the tigers and tools. Am I speaking to someone? Will you waste your prayers? Will you waste your prayers? Mm. Awesome. So, uh, I want to pray over you, then we pray for like five minutes, then we go, right? I want to exercise what we have learned today. Okay, let me pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. God is here. The Lord is here.